So Mark, a 3-2 win here against Mason United. What did you make of the game? I thought we was really good today. I thought we showed a lot of character because obviously, you know, the, uh, the Maidstone keepers had a fantastic first half hour and, and kept them in the game, you know, quite a big length. We've had probably eight, nine shots on target and to, to sort of go one all with their first shot on target, the, the boys would have been forgiven for being a bit shell-shocked and then going 2-1 behind. Um, um, but both kind of, you know, poor mistakes from our point of view, um, seized well by the opposition. But, you know, at half-time, it was just about making sure we just kept doing what we were doing. We were the better side, and that, that was clear and obvious. And we started to keep playing football and, and creating openings. And uh, I thought that was really good value for the win, really. I thought the scoreline wasn't massively reflective on the two teams on the day. No, no disrespect to Maidstone. Um, but I thought we played really well. And it just shows how, how far we've come. So many of them boys were with us three years ago. I mean, that back three there, I mean, they've been with us, you know, donkey's years. Uh, so, um, no, so I thought it was a really good all-round performance. Definitely. In the last few games, we've seen a lot of different goal scorers on the uh, on the score. But are you really pleased to see that uh, lots of different people scoring now? Uh, well, I think all, all the front boys keep scoring. Mewitt, Barham and, and Pry keep scoring every game. So uh, that's always a good sign when they're scoring. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, obviously we're dangerous going forward, but we are defending better. I know we're letting a couple of goals today, but four clean sheets building up to this. We're defending better. A lot of confidence. I think every team during the season has a good spell. I think this is ours at the moment. I think we look like we're having a good spell, look, look confident. Um, I was I genuinely never in any kind of, I wouldn't say any doubt. Obviously, I had a few doubts it might be one of them days, but I just, you know, I wasn't flummoxed, if you like. I was confident we just kept playing football. We could get a result. In the last game before Christmas, so how are the lads going to prepare for the uh, Boxing Day match um, at Eastbourne Borough? Um, well, <coughs> I think... Um, it's uh, playing at home on Boxing Day, everyone loves it, you know, yeah, it's, just, uh, it's, it's brilliant, normally a big crowd, expecting a big crowd at Meadowbank for that one. Um, you know, these are the games that are tough, uh, you know, they're tough, I mean, Eastbourne on paper uh, look like they're bottom six or eight, um, but they've got great players down there and they've had an upward turn recently, um, so they'll be coming down there and trying to, I guess, trying to get a bit of a scout, they'll, they'll consider themselves second favourites and We've just got to just try and manage our um, our confidence and not get uh, not too too carried away with this good run. We've got uh, there's going to be challenges around the corner. The the squad's really thin. Isaac's come off. He's got a nice pack on his knee, and and Sam Beer's got one in his ankle. And uh, Niall's hip. Um, he, he looks done. I don't think Niall's going to make it. So, you know, we'll be down to 12, 13 players to be quite frank. And then you're playing Thursday, Saturday. So my next thought now is just trying to get us through them two games. Them two games together are um, a big challenge for us with the, the size of the squad but at the moment we're just enjoy today because this is a full-time football club um, you know they train um, every day um, and um, we should be really privileged that we can come away for a moment and beat clubs like this and and you know like I said no disrespect to Mason but I thought relatively convincingly in terms of the, the pattern of play and the possession